So your lighting is giving you a hard time. It gives all of us a hard time. I even struggle with it a lot of times. Actually, most of the time. It's because I struggle with making things perfect, even though I know that it's never going to be perfect. There's always going to be something that's going to be a little off, but you got to make it as close to that perfection as you can. Otherwise, you'll get nothing done. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel, I'm Justin, and in this video we're going to be building some DIY barn doors or shades for your LED lights, and try to make that lighting process a little bit easier. Before we get started on this build, if you have any questions or comments about it, you can leave it down in the comment section down below. If you want to ask me more directly, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday, twitch.tv slash ghettohappy, link in the description. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a like and consider subscribing. For this build, you're going to need a couple of items, and by a couple, I mean a decent amount. Of course, you're gonna need an LED panel could be any dimension or any size, doesn't matter. A pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, either way works. Some cardboard, because we're trying to use things around the house. Some wooden dowels, because they're easy to work with. Some diffusal of some sorts, could be tissue paper. I got this out of some packaging. A tape ruler, tape measure. You can use a regular ruler if you'd like, but that one works better for me. A pipe cutter, because it's just easier. And finally, some Gorilla Tape. Yo. So here's the game plan. We are going to start off by finding a nice clean area, something simple, something comfortable, just so you can work neatly. You can work on a table, you can work on a flat floor, just whatever's comfortable and somewhere you can work and get things done without a problem. Next, you're going to take your LED panel and you're going to measure the perimeter, top, sides, bottom, all that. Write those down on a notepad or your phone or whatever. I like writing it down because just the way I am. A little old school like that. Next, you're going to take those measurements and cut your dowels to those measurements. When you're using a pipe cutter, it's very simple. All you do is open it up all the way, slip your pipe or your, in this case, wooden dowel in, tighten it up so it reaches and touches, and go around twice. After that, clamp it down a little bit more. And you're going to continue to do that till you're all the way through. Try not to go too far in because you try not to cra crack it. You're trying to make a clean cut. It's wood and this is made for pipe. So it's going to be a little bit uh, jagged on the edge. But if you do it right, you don't have to do so as much on the edge and cleaning it up. Next, you're going to get your cardboard. And your cardboard is going to be roughly the same dimensions as your perimeter. But the only difference is you have that 3D extra part to it. So you're going to have the lengths and the, uh, of whatever you have. So for example, if you have the top, you're going to measure that to the proper length. And you're going to need a width as well for that jutting out part. For that jutting out part coming out from the light, I would probably go about half the distance of the perimeter. So for example, if your uh, length of the top is, let's say seven inches, you would go three and a half. So that uh, three and a half inches out. You could go whatever you want, but that's what we're roughly gonna use. The sides are gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna have them come out probably like three quarters longer. So if your tops and bottoms are five inches you probably want to go about like seven or eight inches out because that will help hone in on where this is going it's fine if the light gets leaked a little bit up and down but you're trying to hone it into your subject this will make sense when you actually start putting it together and uh, using it now that you have the cardboard at your proper dimensions and what you like just lay it out and make sure that it fits properly make sure that everything is the proper size that you want and kind of like mock it up 
uh, because once you start taping this thing together, it's going to be a little bit difficult to start disassembling it if you don't like it. Now, if you found everything to your satisfaction, you could get started with taping. First off, you're going to start taping to the dowels. So you're going to line it up, going to put a nice layer around the edge. Usually one piece of Gorilla Tape should be fine. Make sure you measure it properly. It could be a little, it could go over a little bit, but try to get it as close as you can. This is just the first layer to get it properly set so that when you uh, start working with it, it doesn't fall apart in your hands. Keep in mind, if you're using anything other than Gorilla Tape, like some duct tape or whatever, uh, it might not hold as well. Just a little bit of a uh, side note there. I'm using Gorilla Tape because that stuff will stick to anything. It'll hold pretty much anything together. Now that you have it attached to the dowels, you're going to start connecting each part. So meaning you're going to need to create like a housing for it. This is pretty simple. All you're going to do is go around the back end where the dowels are and go all the way around the, the rectangle or the square, depending on your shape. From there, everything should be stuck together and in place. It's going to be a little bit of a task to get done because uh, trying to rip this and trying to cut it while you're holding it together is going to be a little difficult. I know you can do it. I've done it. So if I can do it, anybody can do it in a way. I'm pretty good with my hands. So just, I have faith in you. You can do it. So following along with what I'm doing, it's easier just to show you than to, uh, to tell you it's, there's a way there's an art form to securing it. And also once you get it secured and not too, you don't want to, crush it. This is made out of cardboard and wood. So you're going to have to be a little bit gentle with this. So basically get it to a point where it's secured and firm. At this point, you could start adding little bits and pieces as you like. For me, I like to cover as much of the cardboard as I can with the black, mostly because it looks better. But if you're happy with it just being secure, cool. That's fine by me, whatever you like. So now you have the barn doors and shade secured and made. The next step is getting the LED light in there. Now, when you're doing this, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. You're going to have a mount on the bottom, usually a quarter 20 to, uh, to anything that has a quarter 20 uh, threaded rod or threaded mount. This will need to have to get through. Now for this example, I am taking the bottom part where usually the, uh, the quarter 20 is and making a slice right down the center of the cardboard on the bottom. After that, you're going to poke a hole and make a little bit of a hole. You could cut it as well uh, for the quarter 20 to get through. Sometimes there's an extra mount on your quarter 20 uh, that's a little bit thicker, which is fine, but you might want to make the hole a little bit bigger so that it's not all the way through. Like you don't want that thing sticking all the way through so it could pop out. You want to make it a little bit bigger so that it gets some wiggle room for it to turn, but not too big that it could pop out. Some final things that we're going to be doing is we need to secure the light a little bit better. Now it will sit in there pretty good and it shouldn't be a problem, but take an extra piece of tape, be it Gorilla Tape or whatever tape you're using and put it on top of the light. This will keep it from wobbling around or anything like that if you decide to move it or readjust it. Another thing is when you put in your tissue paper or your diffusal of some sorts, you could buy diffusal on Amazon as well. Uh, it's not necessary that you buy diffuse official diffusal but if you want to you can i use tape just to make sure it sticks and you can put it around the edges and uh make sure it sticks if you have any other ways to secure it by all means go ahead and do it i like to do it as easy as possible so it's easy to take apart if i decide to go in a different direction or anything else this should be pretty easy to take apart and to uh use in multiple ways Another thing is you can make multiple of these, be it you want it different styles and different shades, different ways of honing in your light source. But 
it's up to you. It's totally up to you. The way I'm making it is making it easy to take off just as easy as it is to put it on so that you can have multiple options when it comes to this. So now you've built your DIY shade barn doors. It's more so a shade than barn doors, but I haven't figured out how to do adjustable ones on a budget. There are ways I built ones before out of metal and some brackets and everything like that. But right now I don't have the supplies to do that. So if you want a video like that, or if you want a video of me making a budget one, just leave it down in the comments. And also if you have an idea of making it and uh, some different styles or different styles of what I've done before or right now, I, be all, by all means, just leave it down in the comments. I'm open to discussing this and learning new things. I'm learning just as much as you are. And uh, that's a part of this community, this, this group of people I'm trying to build. Uh, we're trying to bounce ideas off each other. That's the best way to learn. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hope it was helpful to uh, making your uh, quarantine a little bit better and uh, your lighting situations a little bit better. There are professional ways of doing this. There are LED lights that come with barn doors. But if you want uh, anything that I have in this setup here, I'll leave links to the appropriate things in the description down below obviously cardboard you can find anywhere and uh stuff like that um i'll give you some options and different ways to go about it uh just so you know and i'll put categorize it uh as i see fit one final thing before i get out of here thank you again to all our essential workers and uh nurses doctors delivery drivers everybody out there making our lives easier uh it looks like it's getting a little bit better out there people and states are starting to work their way back into normal normalcy and uh yeah i really appreciate everybody out there doing their part and uh be it social distancing or uh, wearing a mask everyone should be wearing a mask when you go out please it really is something that we need to do to make things a little bit easier moving forward and uh, that all being said, please stay safe, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Sully, you're not going to believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. Oh, I yes, we were very, very right friendly. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. There are no gooses on this ship. Or what?